Fantastic work in Polaris. You handle that like a real pro. You're still new to the Arcanum, but you're already making waves. Since you stopped Spider's plan with a Sky Anchor, I've been wondering if that might have somehow soothed Bartleby's condition. If you can stop in and pay a visit to the old tree, that'd be a real boon to the whole team here. Have to keep tabs on these things, you know. Seeing as how you're such a recent graduate, we're thinking of you as our official envoy to Ravenwood. So there you go. Have a good trip. dear. Judging by his foliage, Bartleby's condition certainly hasn't improved. In fact, he appears to be worse. You should speak to him and find out how he's feeling. And don't forget to use your bedside manners. Ravenwood alumnus. I understand you've joined the Arcanum. I suspected you might wind up there. Talent such as yours. I wasn't able to say anything, of course. Everything with the Arcanum is always a secret. They prefer it that way, and it does seem wise. The Arcanum's work is crucial, however, especially with the revelation that old Cobb is actually Grandfather Spider. Such disquieting news. I won't pry into your affairs, but please don't be a stranger around here. After all, our younger students need mentors. Mentors like you. But you're here about Bartleby, aren't you? His condition has grown worse, isn't it? I just can't fathom why this is happening. Oh, he mentioned the Eye of History. Yes, he has been rather nostalgic lately. Oh, but perhaps the Eye could help restore his health, too. Of course, we both know that it was Malister who stole Bartleby's Eye, but we never learnt what he did with it, did we? Oh, an oversight, to be sure. I suggest you go to the Death School and see Dwargin. 
Ask if he has any idea where Malastare would have hidden it. to pay me a visit. I often use you as an example to inspire my younger students. You're looking for the eye of history? Oh, I had hoped we'd finally put Malastad to rest, but his story always seems to come back up again. No clues here at the school, but you might try Malastad's house in Dark Cave. I don't think anyone's been in there since... Well, a long time. One thing to know. After Sylvia's death, I think he did some remodeling. So, who knows what you might find in there. But, yeah. Good luck! of tragedy and triumph wash over you as you enter the home of your former nemesis. Portraits and keepsakes remind you that this was not just Malastare's house, but Sylvia Drake's as well. You feel an eerie sense of foreboding when you look at the door at the back of the hall. It's probably worth investigating. of the home have been transformed into a sanctum of undeath. They now smell of corpse candles and a deep, frustrated emptiness. It was into these chambers that Malastare came after Sylvia's death, 
First in mourning, and later in madness. A dark spirit, appointed by the master necromancer to protect his work, still maintains its vigil. You must defeat it to proceed.
the Spectral Guardian defeated, you can now explore deeper into Malastare's sanctum. Across the room, you see Malastare's desk. Here he sat, feverishly searching old tomes for a way to bring Sylvia back. On the desk, Open to the page where Malastare left it, lies what appears to be a journal. You should read it for clues. As you begin reading the journal, you can almost hear a Malastare's voice. My efforts to resurrect Sylvia have met no success. But I've heard of a mysterious group of scholars called the Cabal. They may know a way. This Cabal lives up to its reputation. They communicate through a masked agent who goes only by the initials G and D. Nervous as it makes me to deal with this Cabal, they claim to have the answers I seek. What? choice do I have? I meet them tonight. In exchange for information, the Cabal demands I give them the Eye of History. They plan to take it to the world of Mirage. I know not why. I am conflicted. I fear what the Cabal's intentions in Mirage may be, but I've come too far to turn back now. I made the exchange. The secret to resurrecting Sylvia lies within an ancient tome known as the Croconomicon. To Crocotopia I go. You close the journal and place it in your backpack. Headmaster Ambrose needs to see this. So it's you, the Headmaster's little pet. Been a long time, but I always knew we'd cross paths again. You've grown in power. I have too. My associates now make Ambrose look like a hedge wizard. Perhaps you've heard of the Cabal? They have agents everywhere, even Wizard City. After this, I'll be a full-fledged member. See, they detected an intruder here and sent me. That journal's not going anywhere. Neither are you.
Now you've really done it. You think you won here? You have no idea. You crossed the Cabal. Oh yeah, you'll hear from us again. Stairs journal. I shudder to think what insanity is expressed within these pages. Nonetheless, I will have to read it. Any clues regarding the Eye of History? The Cabal? I'm not familiar, but they sound dangerous. A shame Duncan has taken up with them. So the Cabal took the Eye to Mirage? That is very troubling. Probably no coincidence that Mirage is one of the world's spider mentioned. You should consult with your friends at the Arcanon. Perhaps they've heard of this uh, cabal. And of course, you should visit Mirage too. Before you go, however, see your friend Mallory near the life school. She's very talented, but uh, she seems unhappy. Perhaps you can cheer her up. If it isn't the most heroic celebrity wizard who ever lived. Seriously, you're all anyone talks about around here. I'm kind of sick of it. Ah, come on. You know I'm kidding, right? It's actually great to see you. I'm learning a lot at Ravenwood. But it's not like Polaris. Remember when we charged into the Sky Anchor and faced down the rat? Now that was living. I miss those days. Where are you off to now? Mirage? No way! Promise you'll tell me all about it! Cool! I can't wait! I'll be... here. Don't be a stranger! It's about time you returned, Initiate. You were supposed to check on the tree, not climb up in its branches and take a nap! Ione's been waiting to hear your report. I'd get in there right away if I were you. She's not exactly known for her patience. <laughs> <laughs> 